Hello, everyone, and welcome to Friday. You made it to the end of the week. Yay. I know a bunch of you um, are feeling probably a little stressed out with this new uh, structure of your day. I know you're not used to uh, the first 15 minutes of instruction, and then you have downtime. Then you have to remind yourself to go to the next um, the next 15 minutes of discussion. So I know that it's been hard. So I applaud you. You made it through your first week. Hopefully um, we can become professionals at Schoology. Um, so today's assignment is not gonna be one that's very hard or difficult or complicated. Uh, we're gonna be doing a quote analysis today. But let's look at the agenda first. Um, so number one thing, please make sure that you finish the following assignments by midnight today. Okay, um, the best of us, we did that on Wednesday. And remember you created um, and submitted that in Schoology. And the best of us was where you told me when I could get the best of you, when people get the worst of you, what you need from me, and what I can count on you to do. Okay, that's that needs to be submitted. And then what empowers you. So we did that yesterday. We talked about the word empower. We talked about empowerment. And you were supposed to tell me what empowers you. And you were supposed to create a three to five um a three to five song playlist of songs where you analyze a lyric from each song and tell me how that specific lyric empowers you as well. Um, so some reminders, if you ever um, need to watch these videos again, you can. Um, if you are ever in live and then kind of forget about, you know, what it is that we talked about because you have seven classes or six classes in a day, then you can always come back to my page and view the um, the video there, okay? It, it will be in uh, your weekly assignments. It will be in whichever day we discuss that topic, okay? Um, so let's look at the quote that we will be analyzing today. And this quote was... Um, written by Eric Harvey, who's a motivational speaker. He's he's written several books about the, the topic, but he talks about what his belief of courage is. So he says that courage is, and then he um, gives you a bunch of different statements about what he believes courage to be. Okay, so I'm going to read it to you. Courage is following your conscience instead of following the crowd, sacrificing personal gain for the benefit of others, speaking your mind even though others don't agree, taking complete responsibility for your actions and your mistakes, and doing what you know is right regardless of the consequences. Okay, so that's what he, all of these statements are what he believes courage to be. Okay, so you might have to read that a couple times. Just think about it. Think about all the statements and how they could apply to you. And, um, then you're going to respond to the discussion by answering the following questions. The first question is, do you agree with his statements about courage? Um, please respond in a complete sentence. Um, don't just simply say yes. OK, add a little bit more insight into that. OK, the next um, question is, which idea or statement resonates? OK, and the word resonate means to bring back or bring about a feeling of shared emotion or belief. Okay, or you could say speaks to you the most and why. So I'm going to read that again. So which idea, which idea or statement resonates the most and why? So you're going to respond to that in a complete sentence as well. Um, which idea or statement do you think is hard is the hardest to accomplish in your day to day life? Is it the one about following the crowd? Is it about sacrificing your personal gain, speaking your mind, taking responsibility for your actions? or doing what you know is right, regardless of the consequence. So I want you to pick one of those, and which one do you think is the hardest to accomplish in your day-to-day -day life? So you are gonna answer this discussion by merely coming down and, and clicking on the write a comment, okay? And once you're finished with that, you're finished for today. But I'm gonna give you the rest of the class period to make sure that you have those other two assignments, um, the best of us and what empowers you, um, submitted um, to Schoology, okay? I hope you have a great week. I hope you, I mean, a great weekend. What am I saying? I hope you have a great weekend and I hope you stay safe and I will see you on Monday. Bye-bye.